Hello, I'm joined today by Guy Hilton from Amdox, and we'll be discussing Amdox's recent acquisition of Estelia. So, Guy, what's so special about Estelia? Thanks for, thanks for, for having me on, on this video. Um, I think Estelia is, uh, is a prominent leader in the mainframe modernization area, and it has significant refactoring capabilities. When we looked at the Stadia uh, and looked at what Stadia has to offer to the market, we saw that there are a lot of synergies and a lot of complementary services uh, that could together become a very unique offering for um, the telco industry. And that is why we decided to go ahead and acquire Stadia. Essentially, what Stadia has is a mainframe migration technology called Fast Track, and basically it eliminates the risk. Think of from like complex software transformation projects. It really allows you to have seamless refactoring of legacy mainframes to the cloud or any other destination and kind of ensures that you have a safe and secure transition. Um, the process is fully automated, which was something that we were really looking at. And it streamlines the whole conversion of languages and databases from either COBOL, Assembler, Natural, Atabas to you know its modern counterparts, be it Java, C Sharp, and looking at cloud databases such as Postgres, SQL, Aurora, or any SQL server. Okay, and um, looking at the, the telco market, I'll just examine that for a second. I mean, where do you see the demand for mainframe modernization? And it is, of course, linked very much to cloud migration as well, isn't it? True. Uh, I think both of those both of those questions are correct. Um, many CSPs are still using legacy systems and applications. Uh, that either become too complex or inefficient or too costly for their business needs. A lot of these reside on mainframes. It's actually estimated that I think about 25% of the mainframe workloads that are still uh, in the telco industry. So out of all the workloads that you have for mainframes in the world, 25% of them are actually in the telco industry. And I think that when you tie it into cloud modernization and mainframe modernization. So for each stage of your mainframe modernization process, there are probably multiple additional services that you need to think about that would need to work in parallel to your mainframe modernization project. So while you're thinking about your mainframe migration strategy, you probably also need to start thinking about how does that coincide or tie into your cloud migration strategy, application modernization, and literally building anything from your landing zones to then breaking the, uh, the um, old applications into microservices and then modernizing them so they're more cloud native as as uh, the cloud era basically demands from us. Okay, I mean, mainframe modernization is a big, to big topic and something of which Amdox has been very interested in. So I brought a question, how does mainframe modernization, our stadia as well, fit in with your company's broader strategic objectives? So I think it's, it's something that Cloud migration has been top of mind for us at Amdocs for a long time. So we're very focused on cloud migration, on legacy system modernization, and that's most of what we do in the in the cloud division and a lot of what we tie into the larger Amdocs SI proposition. So as cloud adoption basically matures and and the called the simple low hanging fruits of application migrations are now being completed, the large scale enterprises are now looking to address the, the more the tougher challenges better in migrating their, think of it, their complex, core, uh, mission-critical applications to the cloud. So we've assisted many, many enterprises in doing that um, and with our experience and our expertise and our advanced methodologies and tooling, uh, customers such as Vodafone Ireland, uh, at and Mexico, and naturally others in North America, EMEA, and APAC really, we helped them move their mission-critical legacy core BSS systems to the cloud. So when we look at mainframe migration, it's only natural that we see the space and enter it as the core applications for many of these large established telecom or financial uh, institutions, uh, government offices and whatnot are actually running them. And to this end, we've acquired Stadia because we do believe that the complementary tooling technologies and innovation that Stadia brings to the table really fits into the way we see our business growing and together we can create a unique offering around mainframe migration that is coupled with the cloud modernization. But so it's not going to be, um, I assume, that easy or plain sailing for cloud migration. Um, so what do you see 
uh, are, are the main trends when it comes to the cloud migration solutions landscape? And how does Amdocs plan to capitalize on those trends? So if I think there is, there are a couple of trends that we probably need to look at and mainframe migration is probably one of the prominent ones. First of all, I think that when you look at cloud migration, you see it coming in waves. So the first wave was migrating from on-prem to the cloud. The second one, which I think we're in the midst of is modernizing and creating modernization value from those cloud investments. So think about things like you want to have what we call value-led modernization for the cloud. And then comes mainframe. So mainframe up till now was not in the cloud game, but a couple of things that happened in the mainframe industry in the last couple of years have really shifted the need to also move the mainframes now to the cloud. I think the first thing that we can all agree on is there's a, there's a shortage of, uh, of skilled experts. Think about the people who manage and, and uh, administrate um, the uh, the mainframes are people who know COBOL, are people who've been around the industry for a long time, and they're retiring now. So if up till now you could still get good, you know, COBOL admins and developers, and really build a, a decent mainframe team, that that skill is 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 becoming scarce. And if you're running your mission critical applications on a mainframe, that could be a point of concern. The other part is there's an increase in the maintenance and licensing fees for the legacy mainframes. So that actually forces organizations to rethink their business case around the mainframe and see if there are any ways they can control and optimize the budgets associated with it. So as the user base around it is dwindling, the remaining mainframe customers you know, are sort of confronted with rising license fees, potential lack of support, tied with the shortage of skill sets we talked about before, um, it becomes an issue. The third part is really how do you keep on sustaining innovation? Because if you're moving towards the digital era and you have modern systems in other parts of your organization, and now you want to integrate those into the core applications that still reside on the mainframe, it's not really an easy thing to integrate a super, you know, old type of a of an application or a system to modern systems. The architectures probably are different. They need to support things like real-time processing, maybe AI-powered personalization, next-generation digital experience. It's very hard to actually get that done while connecting to the mainframe. So I think when you look at all these together, shortage of skill sets, rising costs, and complexity in, in adopting it to digital systems, I think that at the end of the day, the the need to start moving the mainframes to the cloud is becoming something uh, quite prominent. Okay, so from what you're saying, that the, the business case is becoming more and more compelling for mainframe migration and more organizations will start to consider this uh, as the way forward. So bearing that in mind, what advice would you give to organizations who, who are considering mainframe modernization? Um, I think there are a couple of things. Think of it this way. Large-scale enterprises are coming to realize that the legacy mainframe databases are not ready to meet the demands of digitalization. So the first advice I would give is look at your digitalization needs, understand what impact would that have on other systems in your organization, and see if your mainframe can still handle those, or is it time to look for a different solution and move the applications from the mainframe to the cloud so that way it's all in one place it's all digital you can then break it into microservices make it cloud native and then you have a really modern system uh there's re-platforming and there's refactoring and we always go between them so are you just taking it and moving it from the old hardware but as is to the cloud or should you be refactoring it and really have a viable path to modernization in our opinion more enterprises are now and we see as our are exploring refactoring at scale because they understand that even if they have their initial application in COBOL in the cloud, that shortage of skills, which we talked about, is still going to be a significant impact. So they'd rather go to refactoring and already move it to Java and C Sharp, where they can actually start modernizing it. And I think that as you do that, you end up liberating your legacy applications, make it easier to actually create better customer experience, um, and that could include the new upcoming AI and personalization elements. 
and also transforms your ability to recruit and retain that talent that now is is becoming um, scarce on the mainframe side. But if you move it to modern languages, it's easier to recruit that IT talent. And also the business case itself. Look at your business case, and I think that's maybe the last part of of that type of um, of advice. When you look at the rising costs of how much does it cost you to keep on maintaining the mainframe as it is versus the alternative and the shortage of skill and, and, and the integration costs you'd need to pay in order to keep on integrating stuff with your mainframe, look at all that and then look at how much would it cost you to modernize. You'll start seeing that if, if a couple of years back, mainframe was still a solid business case, think that as we see these costs increasing on one end, and the needs from the business side to keep on innovating, I think the business case is changing significantly and you should adopt it in a way that shows what you can do from a modernization perspective. Well, thanks very much, Guy, for those insights into the mainframe modernization market. And from what you're saying, it's getting more and more compelling for both telcos and enterprises to embark on this journey. So thanks very much for your insights. Thank you. Thanks for having me.